Now both fighters being told by referee Alan Jackson to toe the line. Round number one. That start off of scratch moving forward is Ben Hatchett. He's in the black trunks. Multicolored trunks for Robbie Brown. Well, Hatchett's really pushing the pace here. Heavy into the clinch on the counter right hand. And that's ruled a flash knockdown. Here comes the mandatory eight. I'd like to see that again. I thought he was going down before the punch even was thrown, but maybe not. Quickly on the reset. Hatchet right back to his feet. It was the rear right uppercut of Robbie Brown that sat down Ben Hatchet. On 25 remaining round number one. Oh, wow. Rear right uppercut and knockdown number two. And Hatchet has got to figure that out. He cannot just duck his head down. He's got to be looking for that punch. It's those ones that you don't see that hurt you, and that's happened to him twice now. Hatchet off the canvas with emphasis, literally running to the mid-range. Right to the body, left hand into the clinch. Left hand knockdown number three. Every time that uppercut's landing, it's doing damage. Hatchet, he doesn't look like he's getting up, but he is. Look at him. Not as enthusiastic as the first two get-ups, but... 45 seconds remaining, round number one. Another uppercut. You see how this is ruled by referee Allen Jackson. Ruled a slip right back to it. Bobby Brown has recorded three knockdowns here in round number one. Two off the rear right uppercut. Off the left uppercut, knockdown number four. Brown talking to Hatchet, who is flat on his back. This fight is over. 